Hello everybody, it's YouTube. It's crew by me. I'm gonna do a quick little video here for my uh, new uh, Patreon page um, to help support uh, this uh, uh, this hobby and passion of mine. Um, we'll start with uh, the first part of my bar. How's that? Sounds good to me. All right, let's start over here on the right hand side. On the right hand side, I have some mostly Canadian whiskeys. I do have a, an Irish whiskey and some bourbons. On the left side, I have all a small collection of my scotches. So let's get started. Skull. Right here, that's in my dram. If you wanna know what that is, give me a second and I'll show you what it is. Oh yeah, it's right here. This is what's in my dram. It's the Glen Garriock, aged for 15 years. Um, the Renaissance, first chapter in a four part story. At, uh, the ABV, 51.9% ABV, uh, 750 milliliter bottle. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. This is what I'm drinking in my dram right now. So over here, we'll start. I only have one Irish whiskey, unfortunately, but it's Kelvigan. Um, this is a 40% ABV, and uh, we'll put that in the back, and we'll move on over here. The, the first brought bourbon in my collection is Maker's Mark. It's a, it's a, you know, your standard bourbon. It's decent. Um, it's a 45% ABV. I hate the waxing, but hey, it is what it is, eh? Next in my bourbon collection, this baby right here. Knob Creek Bourbon Whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey. This is a fantastic bourbon. I would highly recommend it. It's a 50% ABV. Um, it's a small craft distiller, and uh, they're making a lot of good uh, um, bourbon in uh, this, uh, this little distillery here in the US of A. All right, so now we'll move on to the Canadian. I have your standards. Crown Royal Regular. This is a 40% ABV. It's almost empty. I need a refill on that one. Next in the collection is this bad boy right here. This is Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye. It won uh, the World Whiskey of the Year in 2016. It also rings in at 45% ABV. Now this is quite the little gem. Um, you can drink it straight or you can drink it rye and ginger, rye and coke, however you want. It is what it is. Next on my list is this guy, Crown Royal Black. It's a darker, more caramel, toffee, brown sugar forward uh, version of the regular Crown Royal. And it is quite tasty. 45% um, ABV on this bad boy as well. And uh, again, uh, in my early days, I would prefer Crown Royal any day over Canadian Club, but that's just me. Everybody has their own personal taste and, and uh, palate. So, anyways, another run from Crown Royal. This is the Crown Royal Mabel. Now this one here is good however you want to drink it straight. Um, I prefer to put it in my coffee every now and then, kind of like Bailey's. But yeah, this is also this is 40% ABV. And uh, yeah, the maple one is uh, my favorite of the uh, flavored versions they have. They have an apple, they have a vanilla, and uh, maybe another one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I have this Weiser's, also another Canadian staple whiskey, 40% ABV. Um, here's some from the uh, 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 in uh, Grimsby, Ontario. This is from Forty Creek. This is the barrel select version of their Canadian whiskey, 40% um, ABV. Here is um, another one from 40 Creek. This is their 40, uh, 40th uh, year anniversary, I believe. Whiskey, it's a double barrel reserve, 40% ABV, lot 264. Bottle 4,537. 4, um, I got this a few years ago when I turned 40. Somebody picked it up for me um, because uh, it says 40. And last but not least, 
on the Canadian side. This is the Centennial. It's a limited edition. It's a uh, distilled and blended with the uh, utmost care for a smooth this smoother, richer rye flavor. So it's 100% rye. And uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, Canadian and bourbon and Irish side of my collection. Um, now on to uh, my Scotch collection, part of it. This is a uh, Port Charlotte. This is the Scottish Barley Heavily Peated Aisley Single Malt Whiskey. It's 50% ABV. I have a Euro Superstition, which is also another, another uh, peated uh, uh, whiskey. Kind of smoky, kind of spicy, 43% ABV. There you have it. And continue on now. Also, some of you may know, some of you may not know, I'm a big craft beer enthusiast. I used to work for a brewery, I used to brew great beer. I brew home, I brew home, uh, uh, home brew here in my house. Um, and I was kind of fond of IPAs and stuff like that. So uh, a friend of mine, when they seen this come out, they said, hey, you gotta get it for Dale, brew by me. So this is the Glenfiddich IPA. It's a, it's a it's an experimental series, um, single malt Scotch whiskey, 43% IPA uh, uh, ABV. So the IPA experiment is basically um, they uh, uh, put the whiskey in Ira India pale ale uh, barrels and uh, let it age there for a certain amount of days. I'm not 100% sure on the days. I'll have to look into that more on, more uh, when I go to review it. But uh, yeah, so there's that one. I also got another uh, special one, uh, experimental series from Glenfiddich. This is the Project Double X. Um, this is 47% ABV, uh, 20 mines, one unexpected whiskey, 20 esprits, and whiskey and tonneau. So this is some French on there. This is number two of the series. The IPA was number one of the series. And I don't know if you can see, but you know, there's some damage in that one, a little bit of damage in that one. Next on my uh, list is Kilcoman. Kilcoman. It's an Islay single malt Scotch whiskey. This is Masher Bay version, 46% uh, ABV. Uh, these come out once a year, I believe. And there's a series of them. There's a couple of different ones. I'm trying to get my hands on different ones as they come out. It's kind of hard from where I, where I live. I live in Ontario, Canada, and we don't get a huge selection of uh, a scotch available to us. Um, we have to go via online. Um, hopefully, we can find something there. Uh, Europe, uh, out west, uh, Alberta, Calgary, they have a good selection of uh, scotches out there, but not so much here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, another one um, on my list that I have, uh, in my bar I have, is this one, Bunhaben 12, aged for 12 years. It's 46.3% uh, ABV, distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland, a Bunhaben distillery. Um, again, it's a single malt scotch whiskey. It's slightly peated, um, kind of funny. Uh, my old boss uh, that hired me at my job actually is now the, uh, from my understanding, is now the North American representative or ambassador for uh, Bunhaben and Deanston, I believe. Um, so that was pretty cool. He, he told me to check that out, so that's what I did. Here's another one from Brooklady. Brooklady? This is the. Uh, this is their Islay Barley of 2019, Claggan, Crouch Island, and Mullen Dairy Farms. Unpeated Islay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 50% ABV. Again, um, I can give more details whenever I go and uh, review these bad boys, but uh, yeah, this is what I have for now. And uh, next on the list, Magnus from Highland Park Brewer, uh, Brewing Company, or Distillery, sorry. Uh, Highland Park Distillery in Orkney, in Scotland. Um, I believe this is part of a Viking series that they have. Um, it's readily available here in Ontario. Fairly cheap, actually. I think around 50 or 60 bucks Canadian. Um, it's fairly decent. 
The next, my best, is another one from Highland Park. This is Valkyric, er, Valknut. This is part of the uh, uh, Viking series that they have going on. Um, there's Valkyrie, Valknut, uh, Magnus, um, Dark Origins. Um, they have a couple of others. Um, not included in the Viking series is uh, Highland Park uh, Fire and Ice, which I I have sampled. I don't have any bottles of it. It's kind of pricey here on four or 500 bucks Canadian. Um, but yeah, this one here rings in at 46.8% ABV. Next on my list of Scotch whiskeys here, I have Del Winnie, aged for 15 years. Um, this is 43% ABV. Next in my cabinet is Old Putney Navigator. Now, this one, I just happened to come across it. Uh, it's 46% ABV. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the uh, uh, how this came about. Uh, part, one thing I've heard is it came out in travel stores, like at airports and stuff like that. Um, and then I've heard other stories that it came out um, globally or in North America, in our LCBO, which is where I picked it up. I picked it up at the LCBO a few years ago. Um, another one in my collection is Arbolar Abanda. Now this is a fantastic whiskey for the price. This one here is uh, batch number 58, 61.1% ABV. I love this scotch. Uh, it's full flavored. Um, I just I just love it. I can't wait to try and get some my hands on some more of this one. I won't be able to get 58 anymore. I think we're at 61 or 63 or something like that. But Arvillera Bunda, I like that one a lot. Next in my cabinet is Tomatin, 12-year-old. This is a bourbon and sherry cast, aged for 12 years, and it's 43% ABV. Um, I've only had one dram out of it, as you can see. I bought this, I think, last year. And uh, yeah, next in my collection, we have the Belvini Caribbean Cask. This one is another fantastic dram. Um, it's uh, rum influenced Caribbean casks is uh, actually rum casks and it adds a, a nice combination. So you get a nice combination of Scotch whiskey and a slight bit of that rum, spice, fruity, uh, um, flavors for the from the Caribbean casks um, lots of vanilla lots of caramel lots of coffee kind of like creme brulee but yeah it's another one in my collection there's another cheap one in my collection the Glenlivet Founders Reserve this was given to me by a friend he bought it thinking he'd like it he didn't like it and gave it to me so I kept it in my collection getting full over here eh? all right another one from Glenlivet this is their 12 year old Glenlivet um, I'm almost empty on the Glenlivet uh, this one I got many many I got about to maybe two years ago it's 40% ABV um, I just started collection actually collecting whiskey specifically scotch whiskey last year so um, my collection is not as magnificent as others but I, maybe one day it'll get there um, for now this is what I have. I also have a few more coming up. Next one I have is Akintushin, which is the, this is the, the uh, um, 12 year old uh, triple distilled uh, um, version. Um, it's uh, matured, I think, in like uh, our, um, in bourbon barrels and all, all our also barrels. It's a very good, it's actually my favorite of the Akintushin uh, line. Um, this one rings in at 40% ABV, and there's lots of flavors in this bad boy. There's like mandarins, toffee, caramel, vanilla, honeysuckle, I can go on. Lots of flavors in there. I got this bad boy, Lafroig, Lafroig, quarter cask. This is a peat bomb. Um, it's about $90, I think, here in Canada. Um, I really enjoy this peated whiskey. It's uh, more smoky than any of my other scotches that I have or have mentioned here. I enjoy it. Um, 
can't wait to try uh, more smoky peaty whiskies. I really want to try some Octomore, uh, especially the 0.3 versions. I heard those are very, very fantastic and very, very smoky. So if I can find them, I haven't been able to find them at my LCBO. Um, I've seen them online a couple of times um, and I've seen them actually at the Octomore or Brooklady, I think it's Brooklady uh, that uh, uh, produces Octomore. Uh, I've seen it on their site. And my the last one I have for you to show you guys tonight is the McAllen, 15 year old. Uh, 15 year old. And um, yeah, this is, a, this is a very, very solid uh, single malt Scotch whiskey. It's out of, out of all of mine, in my opinion, this one is the smoothest. Uh, smoothest tasting um, this has been um, matured in bourbon and sherry casks and uh, yeah this one was given to me um, a friend of uh, well, my mother uh, a person she works for uh, quit drinking and so uh, he's been giving her his collection of uh, spirits and else and liquor so uh, every now and then when she gets some she gives them to me because she doesn't drink and so yeah so uh, yeah that, that's uh, my collection um that i have to show you guys for tonight like i said this is just part of my collection i have more in my collection but i didn't want a super long uh, a video for you guys this is my first video for patreon so uh i hope i did all right and i hope i get the the point across uh i really want um to review these bad boys for you and i want you guys to experience what i experience with these bad boys and uh yeah so basically what i'm going to do here is i'm going to ask you guys out of the collection you've seen tonight which one would you guys like me to review first it can be any of the canadian whiskeys the irish whiskey the bourbons or it can be any of the scotches you guys can choose let me know down below which one you want me guys which one you guys want me to review first and uh we'll do it that way um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little long it's my first video i just wanted to get it out there i hope you guys enjoy it Skull, salant, cheers, however, wherever you say cheers in your country, cheers to you.